you know, over the last couple of weeks, fans have asked me about how I felt about the whole ending to the Long Island show, and how come I haven't been on the boneyard the last couple of weeks, and what the hell is going on? Why were you backstabbed? And for those that don't understand what I'm talking about, <laughs> in Long Island, see money gave me a money drop in the middle of the ring, and then let LICW beat the crap out of me. Because he turned his back on us. He ripped off his referee shirt and it basically, NABW was crossed out on his chest. And it LICW in huge bold print. <laughs> you were sending a message, huh? <sighs> you know, that message was received. And it was received so well that it made me think and open up my mind. To the fact that you were never in this alone. That Triple T, because he brushed it off so calmly. That Triple T has been in the Rebels' pocket this whole time. And that the Rebels have been running the entire show. And I've been too blind to realize it. I mean, the first event of the whole freaking year is the Rebels' brawl. And Triple T has put so much emphasis on Knight Rider defeating... The classy chaos in a chaos chamber match. So that. You two. Can keep ownership. Of the company. Which I. <laughs> unless I'm mistaken. The three of us own a third of the company each. Not just you two owning a half. See, that pisses me off even more. And the reason that I haven't even been on the Boneyard is because they've been trying to brush me off. Like, the target has been neutralized and I'm no longer valid. I'm no longer around. I'm no longer a threat. Well, I am a threat. You see, I have a proposition for the Classic Chaos because I am still a third owner of NABW. And I would, I know I was against it at first, but now that I've opened my eyes to see the truth, I would love to give the Classy Chaos my share so they have a foot in the door. So when they win at the Rebels Brawl in a Chaos Chamber match, they don't even need to ask me for my share, they already have it. And it's sad because <laughs> I was looking forward to wrestling Al Dukes in a false count anywhere match because that man pushes me to my limits. And I'm still going to give it my all because he is a worthy champion. He has been a great champion since he beat me almost a year ago. <laughs> but with C Money being the special guest referee, that just has Screwjob written all over it. But you know what, see, money at the end of the show, I'm just letting you know, the money will drop, <laughs> and my revenge will be complete. So you better be watching your back if you know what's good for you.